On his way to work early one morning, it happened. A wreck. And Tyler Slauson admits it was his fault. And I was, of course, freaking out. Like, I, I, I cannot take this right now. I'm trying to move and start a new venture and do a number of things. And this whole wreck happened at the worst possible time it could have happened. Now, at the cost of a rental, Tyler searched for the cheapest possible. He went to a third-party rental location to rent from Hertz. They didn't have the compact he wanted, but they said he could have a small SUV for the same price. He signed the contract and drove off, but the rental soon turned south. I do feel powerless in this situation. After returning the vehicle with a full tank of gas, Tyler says he was billed 400 bucks for the SUV upgrade and $80 for fuel. Simple enough to resolve, Tyler thought, since he had that contract. But after calling Hertz several times, Tyler says they wouldn't budge. I'm certainly willing to, to, to go and slay the giant, that's for sure. After more calls from Tyler and from his insurance company, he says Hertz found notes on his account that he was indeed given that SUV for the compact cost, but they only offered to meet him halfway. So I said, no, I'm not going to compromise on this situation because this is not my fault at all. Finally, Tyler says he was told the case was resolved. He found out differently, though, when he went to the grocery store and his debit card was declined. Checking his banking app, Tyler says he found a $500 hit from Hertz, overdrawing his account, costing him more than $100 in overdraft charges. Not only am I embarrassed at this point, then I'm frustrated and mad about the whole thing. That's when Tyler contacted the problem solvers and we got in touch with Hertz. We never heard what caused all the confusion over his vehicle rental, but it wasn't long until Tyler got his money back and Hertz reimbursed him for those overdraft fees. Tyler tells us he's satisfied that Hertz, in his words, ended up doing the right thing. Pete Knutson, 2 News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers. Glad to see the happy ending there. Well, as families plan for spring break and summer vacations, we go in depth with a problem solvers checklist of how to get the best deal when you rent a vehicle. Book your rental in advance and if possible, don't prepay as you won't get a refund if your plans change. Don't prepay for gas either. That usually ends up costing much more than just filling it up yourself before you return the vehicle. Rethink buying the company's insurance coverage. Check to see what your auto policy covers and if your credit card offers coverage. Be sure to take pictures of the inside and outside of the vehicle before and after you drive it and have the agent make note of any damage. Say no to onboard GPS service and other items like car seats. Renting the car seats, for example, will end up costing you more than the cost of the seat. Instead, just bring your own. And be sure to take advantage of memberships, promos, and loyalty programs. Discounts are available through membership stores and groups such as AAA and AARP.